Erickson. This Tuesday night, Sonny takes on Alex Salcedo live in the main event on ESPN. Sonny's joining us now. I, I guess you're you're in Toledo, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm in Toledo, Ohio right now. So how's ever, how's everything going with the uh, with training and everything? Um, it it was going good. It's going good. You know, we had to adjust in the beginning because we our gym was closed down, and we found another gym that we could work out at. So everything's been going great since then. Talk about that for a second. Um, obviously, I've been asking all the people I've been interviewing. Obviously, a lot of people's training um, regimens have been uh, greatly compromised by everything going on with the COVID nineteen. How were you able to, uh, you know, kind of stay in shape over those two, you know, last couple uh, months? Um. Well, we our, our guy we had. Um, we started working out before the gyms opened up because he had a, he had a boxing ring in his um. In his garage, and everything. He has a big, old, huge garage and stuff he built, and he has a boxing ring. Everything we need inside there, like belt rim bags, bag. So we got lucky with that. And my strength and conditioning coach, he has his own gym, so we were just we were just going there. That, 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 that's that's interesting. So I mean, I guess you know maybe you and your your team, you maybe have a little bit of advantage over maybe some people who are probably who are probably locked out of their gym. So that's a it's a good situation. Um, talk about this fight coming up. Uh. Alex Salcedo, twenty nine and one, uh, fought for the title against Hooker, and uh, you know came up short there. He, you know, he, he's in a you know similar position. To you, he's looking to get right back in the middle of things. Is that the way you're looking at it? Yeah, I, I'm looking at it like this is the opportunity I need to get me to the get to get to the shot that he already had already once. That I, that I know that if I take him out, that I'm going to take his shot. And that's uh, what's I'm, okay, I'm, I'm sorry about that. What, what I was gonna what I was gonna say was, uh, you know, coming off your last fight, obviously a disappointing loss with with, with Sam Taya. Did you think an opportunity like this would come out r- right away, your first fight back? Um, you know, I I didn't really think it was. I didn't know what was gonna happen. Honestly, I I didn't know if they was gonna just have me fighting some uh, some some fights that didn't really mean nothing or what what was gonna come with it and uh, I was I'm happy that this opportunity came with it and maybe maybe it was a better thing that I lost because now they wanted to give me the opportunity. Talk about Salcedo. He seems like a guy who likes to mix it up, getting some exciting fights. Is that the way you look at it? Yeah, I look up uh, he just really good he's really good offensively, just really lacks defense, so he makes every, everybody can hit him. He's really really easy to hit. So I mean I know he's I know he's good offensively and he's gonna press the fight and he's gonna be a good fight. Obviously, you have some physical advantages. You're one of the tallest uh, junior welterweights out there. Um, is it as simple as you know trying to turn this thing into a boxing match? Um, my style is really not always they use my length, so it's gonna it's gonna be an interesting matchup because you know I, I like to fight a lot. So you know I'm just gonna use my jab. I'm gonna use my jab and use my range as much as as much as possible, and much as I much as I can use the advantage of it. You know, and then eventually it's gonna it's gonna turn. To fight. You feel a win on Tuesday night, kind of. It almost, uh, you know, it, it does two things, in my opinion. It, it eliminates the last fight and it puts you right back in the middle of things. Is that the way? Is that the way you see it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Honestly, yeah. I feel like it elim- eliminates the last fight and it actually puts me in a better position than I was at before. Honestly, so that's what I feel like. I feel like it's a great opportunity for me. To talk about. I know you fought on some big cards. Uh, talk about fighting uh, from uh, no fans. Have you thought about that? What that's going to be like? Um, yeah. I mean, I feel like it's just going to be like a sparring ma- sparring session in the gym. Like, but like, I mean, you still fight, go hard in sparring sessions. You know, you the, the crowd. I mean, you never. I never pay attention to the crowd anyways. So it, it's not going to affect me none. I'm just going to keep. I'm going to fight. Do my game plan. The 140 pound division, obviously. Uh, uh, top rank, they got Jose Ramirez and Josh Taylor. Obviously, you're fighting on one of their cards. You know, you think a win, uh, you know, maybe gets you uh, one of those guys, uh, you know, sooner than later. Yeah, de- definitely. I, I definitely feel like with this win right here, it's going to put me in a position to fight either one of them. I didn't know. I didn't know um, Josh Taylor was with top rank, though. Yeah, he signed. Yeah. I guess he signed with them late. Uh, I guess uh, a little bit after the progress fight, I think he uh, he signed with top rank. I, I believe. So he he was a warrant first, right? Yeah, I think uh, I think yeah I did. I don't know if there's a a, a, um, a working oh, relationship or, or he he may strictly be uh, with top rank if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 
uh, who do you, I mean, obviously they, those guys uh, have most of the belts at 140 pounds. In, in your opinion, who, uh, without looking past Salcedo and everything, who, and, and you still have Regis Progress there, who's the guy to beat at 140? Um, I, I don't want to, see, I don't really want to like look past. Yeah. Out because that's definitely my main focus, but mm-hmm. I feel like Josh Taylor's probably the best out of the two. Mm-hmm. Out, of, out of Jose Ramirez and the two champions, I feel like he's probably the better one. For some of the fans who haven't seen you, you had a very good amateur career. Uh, uh, you know, we'll talk a little bit about how you got into boxing. What, what, what's what's the backstory of Sonny Fredrickson? How did he uh, how did he become a, a, a boxer? What got you in the ring? What age? Uh, I started fighting what probably about thir- I was thirteen. And it's just pretty much I was used to watch ESPN Classic all the time, and I used to just watch them like, cool, and like I, I was gonna fight. And then my, you know, I knew someone opened the gym, and then I just got in the gym. Was that, that was it for that. What was that one fight or fighter that said, you know what, this is what I want to do when watching those classic fights? Well, I used to just, I used, it's, it's, it's a few of them. Like I used to love watching um, Oscar De La Hoya. I used to love watching on um, Felix Trinidad. He's like one of my favorites, and um, uh, David Corrales. Diego Corrales, he, he's another guy who was tall for his weight, who liked to mix it up. Is that kind of maybe a little bit how you, you pattern your style a little bit? Kind, kind of in a, a sense, like, but it's like it's kind of natural, honestly. It's kind of weird because I, I used to like him, and then I, it's like it's like natural, like it just has I have to fight. How, how I mean, obviously, I th- you, you 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 know you're a, you're a fighter. How difficult is it for you? I'm sure your your trainers, coaches, they, uh, how many times have they pleaded with you and pray with you? Use your length, use your length. But you you know you get into these these uh, these back and forth wars. How difficult is it to you know find that equal balance to to to, to box a little bit and then come in and bang a little bit? Um, it's 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 like it's, sometimes it's confusing almost. Like like they tell me like use your length, use your length, and I feel like I'm just I got to move more. But then I got the understanding, like, no, don't move more. Just, just use your your reach. You can, I can still, I can still do the same damage from the outside. What um, Come. have you thought about what it's gonna be like? I know uh, some of the fighters, you know, living inside this bubble for a couple of days, few days, and you know, I'm, you know, I know a lot of fighters are creatures of habit. They wane. They like to go take a walk or something. You're not gonna be able to, you know, maybe do some of the things that you're you, you're normally do before fights. Have you thought about that at all? Uh, no, honestly, not really. I just, I just, I already because I had a guy from our our city named Jerry Anderson. He fought no yeah. one of the card. It was just pretty much you just locked down. Like, just I guess you're just gonna be locked down in the, the bedroom. Toledo, yeah. Ohio. The last few years, you mentioned Jared Anderson, Robert yeah. Easter Jr., yourself. I know uh, um, uh, McCreary, Tyler McCreary. Guys, uh, uh, there's some real good fighters coming out of Toledo. Uh, talk about that. It's almost like a, a little resurgence in Toledo boxing. Yeah, definitely. We so we had um we just yeah uh, Tyler fought him. He fought Carl Frampton. Yep. Then had um Jared just fight, and then I'm gonna fight, and um and on the second we have Albert Bell fighting too. Yeah. On ESPN. Yeah. So we so we're just fighting. Um, it's just lining up in the um top rank cards. Honestly. Are, are you? Uh, I I assume you guys are all you know you guys are friends and everything. You you, yeah. you see you see some of the success. I mean I know Anderson. He he got a lot of. You know, good press coming off that fight he had a couple of weeks ago. Um, does stuff like that motivate you when you see him do well? You know, you you want to kind of keep 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 the train going. Yeah, definitely. It's it's like it's like a, a big circle of us. Like everybody's doing good. Everyone's doing good. We have we have a, we actually have a lot of good fighters from Cedo, and, and yeah, everyone sees someone doing good, and we all support each other, and it just it, it just it just works good. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, with well, the last couple of questions, uh, where where do we find Sonny Fredrickson on social media? You know, if uh, fans want to drop you a line, see what you're up to, and uh, maybe after a big win next week, uh, maybe maybe those followers will start to, to to increase and grow some more. Oh, definitely. Um, so you can um you can follow me on um Twitter at um Team Fredrickson, and that's my last name. Um, that's F R E D R I C K S O N, and um you can follow me on. It's a, um, on Instagram at Sonny Fredrickson and then underscore. And then my Facebook is Sonny Fredrickson. There you have it. Anything you want to say to the fans in closing before we see you this Tuesday night live uh, from Las Vegas on ESPN? Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just really excited for this fight, and I know it's a huge opportunity for me, and I'm just going to capitalize on it and make the best out of it. This is this is really right here. It's like this is, this is like a do-or-die fight for me right here. 
There you have yeah. it. Do, he says it. Do or die fight. Should be an interesting fight. It's one of the, I know it's definitely one of the fights, uh, the, you know, of all the main events that have been and, uh, and are announced for the future. I know a lot of fans are very interested in this fight. Like you said, uh, you know, the, the, the winner takes a major step up in the 140 uh, pound division. Sonny, thank you for a few minutes. I'm, hey, this is your first time doing Zoom. Uh, wasn't too bad, yeah. right? Wasn't too no, bad. Wasn't. Oh. Where, there you go. He's in, he's in his car. You come from training? Um, no, I just I just came from um, getting some food. I just got a salad and stuff. Because I I got a, I got a running and then I took a shower and then I got one and got a salad. The the, the, the life of a, the life of a boxer having salad yeah. I, I having salad for dinner. That's not me. <laughs> yeah. After the yeah. way after the way, and I'm sure you can, you'll be able to to indulge in something pretty good though. Yeah, I heard they got some really good food there. That's what um they were saying. Um, Jared and them, the there chefs that food there for them. So hopefully. It'd be- He's done really good at the weigh-ins. See, but he, you know, the heavyweight's not the guy to ask, though. He, he's not trying to make weight. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> yeah, you got a big selection of food there. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, so we're gonna see, man. I'll be the judge of it. There you go. So, <laughs> a, so yeah. after a win, this is why I, I, I want a, uh, I want a culinary report, and, and, and we'll talk, and, and maybe we'll talk about your, uh, your, your win next Tuesday night in Las Vegas. Sonny, thank you for a few minutes of your time. We'll be watching, and uh, we'll talk to you along the way.